looking for help, you will find what an expensive organization is. Yes. Again, not acknowledgeable politics. So well, yeah. People who take the decision, you know, they, they're comfortable, they have been with IBM sure. for the last 120 years. So, um, it's hard to explain the open source, although we and do actually. Banks, of course, have very strong reg regula regulations about what they can do, what they can't do, how they must work. But even so, I mean, ZeroMQ emerged from, an, from a bank. Indirectly, it came from requirements from an uh, investment bank. Because that's yes, I've been looking into it. And yes, uh, it's something we would, we would like to, but it's something that really solves a lot of problems. I'm not selling zero MQ here. It's no, a no, different no, talk. I'm saying, uh, it's this one is an example. Uh, yes, we want that. Yeah, we understand. And when we're the part of the bank, an investment bank. Right. Well, now we gotta go to procurement and try to. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And then we have to do an architecture board before <laughs> to defend why not we using this MQ series that's just there. Yeah. And you know, the whole bank uses why you're not using it. So it's a bit hard. But on the other side, um, sure I just got another idea about watching this presentation. If you want to create something yes. community wise, right. open source, even though we're a bank. Um, some ideas we want yeah. I mean, typically what you'll find is that you are making some software which you shouldn't be making and which you, you, some, you need some kind of sponsorship from somebody with some kind of political power who realizes that this can actually be done publicly as a public good. It's good marketing. It can be part of their branding that we're investing in community software. And it's, if they can outsource that problem,